The coming is not acceptable. My name is Senna. It's a pleasure to meet me. <laughs> um, I first learned about hip hop when I was eight years old. Um, my brother, I don't know, I got an older brother that was that's big in the hip hop, and um, he used to go to Jamaica Ave all the time, get mixtapes, Clue, Capri, you know, Flex. And uh, I was young, you know what I mean. So I didn't, I didn't really know too much about it. I just know that he would come home with different tapes, and I would hear, and you know, it was all right, you know, no big deal, whatever. But, um, but I never forget the day he came home with KRS One. He came home with the bridges over. Like when I heard that, that was it for me. Like I knew that I wanted to be a part of this industry. Um, so I started writing rhymes. You know what I mean? I started writing rhymes. And, well, I didn't think I was that good at it. You know what I mean? I said, you know, I'm right and never let anybody hear it. A little shy about it. Because, you know, truth be told, um, I never really wanted to, to, to be in the spotlight. You know what I mean? I, I kind of wanted to be the behind the scenes dude to to be a, a, an outlet for artists who I felt possessed the real talent um, to be artists. Um, then we moved to Florida. When we moved to Florida, it, it kind of it, it messed me up a little bit because the style down here was completely different than, than the one up north. And uh, so I, I, without that that daily dose of, of the mixtapes of going to Jamaica Ave and you know, things like that, it was difficult for me to, to stay active or to stay interested in the hip hop game until I heard Thug.com by Trick Daddy. When I heard Thug.com, thug um, man, uh, with Trina, like, I, I, yo, I used to play that record all the time. Like, me and my cousin Ratchet would play that record all the time. And it got me back into it. Um, fast forward, you know, uh, in 05, I started Street Buckets. Um, myself and the COO, AJ Skeeter, um, we started the label and, and it was back to the same thing. You know, I, I, a lot of my friends um, have issues with the judicial system. And, you know, a couple of them knew, knew were artists, knew how to rhyme. So I decided, I, I sat down with Skeeter and I said, yo, you know what? When I was younger, I thought about, you know, starting the label and, you know, having an outlet and, you know, what do you think about it? And he was like, yeah, you know, yeah, we should do that. So we brainstormed, came up with a few different names. And he was like, yo, what about Street Ruckus? I was like, yeah, Street Ruckus is dope. So we ran with it. Um, circumstances happen and, you know, the, the people that I, I, I was creating the outlet for um, wound up back in the judicial system. So when you're the captain of a ship, you know, you can't let your ship sink. So I, I, I started rhyming, you know what I mean? I told Skid, I said, you know, when I was younger, I used to rhyme, you know what I mean? I used to write rhymes or whatever. He was like, yo, do that. And then, you know, my uncles, my uncles is like probably one of the biggest inspirations that I got next to my father, you know, without saying. Um, I decided, you know, I said, you know what, I'm going to do it. I'm going to start rhyming again. So I picked up the pen and pad and, um, you know, started doing it. So now, you know, because I'm up there in age, it's, it's, you know, coming close to 30, they, they say it's impossible. You know what I mean? You, you, yo, you, you, I don't know if it's going to work. I don't know if that's going to be, you know, good for you. So like my name, succumbing is not acceptable. You say, I can't do it. I'm going to do it. Along the way, um, picked up an artist by the name of Bread Money. Dude is crazy and he kind of inspires me. You know what I mean? Like sometimes when when I'm just like, uh, I don't know if this is good for me. He's like, yo, what are you doing? Like you got the talent, let's get it popping. So here I am, you know what I mean? Um, on the mission. My music, my style, it's kind of like I mutated the both. Um, you got a lot of Northern artists or they say a lot of Northern artists that run to the South because you know the South is popping right now. I've been here since I was 16 years old. So I didn't run the South because the South was popping. Um, and I just kind of mutated. I kind of like have a Northern slash Southern style um, that I feel is unique. You know what I mean? Um, I don't want to be put in a box. You know what I mean? I, I feel whatever I feel is the music that I write. You know what I mean? Uh, whatever I feel. So, you know, I understand out there, you know, there's some records that you're going to make that people aren't going to like. You know what I mean? And that's cool. You know what I mean? I'm not making records for you. I'm making records for the people that can relate to what I'm relating to. I, I try to keep, not even so much as try, but I, I keep my music 100% authentic. What you're going to get is me. 
all of my records. You know, whether it be the good thing, whether it be the bad thing, um, you're gonna get 100% of me. So that's that's what I'm bringing to the game. You know what I mean? Like 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 somebody once told me before. You know, as artists, we all say the same thing. We just say it in different ways. And right now, I'm telling my story. You know what I mean? You got a chance to hear everybody else's story, so you're gonna hear mine now. And uh, I'm not out to try to kill nobody. You know, as far as like music careers and all that. Just leave me alone. You know what I mean? Let me do my thing and leave me alone. You know, you put it on wax, I'm gonna respond. You know what I mean? Um, I shouldn't say that. You know, I might not respond. You know, because sometimes people use it. I guess beef is like a, it's, it's, it's what sells. So people come after me. But I mean, if you do come after me, I hope you know what you're doing. You know what I mean? This is really the bottom line. But <laughs> Brett said it's tough. My dude, Brett, he with me. Um, but. So coming is not acceptable, man. I, I really hope that y'all get to know me, get to like what I'm doing, and, and enjoy my music. You know what I mean? Cause I, I, I do it for myself. I do it for my family. Um, I do it for my, my god kids. I, you know, I do it for them. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, I just want y'all to appreciate my music and, and love it. And hopefully you can relate to it. You dig me? Early.